Hi, Dan Brooks here from GiveUpPain.com and today we're going to be doing a really neat experiment for lower back pain relief. I think you're going to enjoy this one. Uh, I spent a lot, of, a lot of years suffering from back pain. As a matter of fact, I spent over 25, nearly 30 years in, in chiropractic care for my pain. Uh, but whenever I discovered this technique and I started dealing with the emotions around why I was having back pain, it seemed to relieve it uh, uh, almost instantly. And after working with it over a bit of time, I found that the back pain, you know, completely went away. And I haven't had to go back to the chiropractors in years now. And it's just from dealing with the emotions. So I've often heard it said that emotions are stored in the body. And, uh, and I truly believe that. I, uh, just from my own experience and from taking through so many people through the exact same journey that you're going to uh, go on right now. Uh, but uh, for today, let's just, we'll get right down to the brass tacks of it all and take you through this process. The technique we're going to be using is called emotional freedom techniques. And uh, in this, what we do is we just tap on a, on a series of points on the body. It's the endpoint meridian systems where, uh, for your energy system in your body. Now, this comes from a 5,000-year-old Chinese art of, of acupuncture. Uh, and, uh, it's just a, a matter of tapping on a series of points, and, uh, and it goes away. I was, I was very skeptical of this when I first saw it, so just play along if you can. We're going to try and experiment. Uh, if you've been up to our website, you'll notice there's a video out there called Pain Relief in Two Minutes. Uh, this, this will actually take you through how to treat pain, like the symptom relief for pain. What I'm going to attempt to do here today is to go after the emotional issue that is creating your lower back pain for you. And hopefully we can get that resolved in you and you can be a lot happier and a lot more pain free. At least you found a, uh, if nothing else, you'll find a way of dealing with pain and using symptom, uh, symptom relief. I, I don't want to get into the whole explanation of how, how this works. If you, if you want to know more, go out to our website, giveuppain.com and there is a free video series there, uh, for stress relief that you can take. It's a four video workshop. Uh, you actually get to go along, do, it, do all, all the exercise, and it'll explain in detail exactly how this process works anyway and how these emotional stressors are creating pain in our body in the first place. So anyway, what I want you to do right now is if you're experiencing lower back pain, uh, rate it on a scale of 1 to 10. 10 obviously being it's really, really bad and uh, like, you know, it's causing you a lot of grief. It's chronic pain. Uh, of course, 5 would be, uh, you know, I notice it and it's, it's there. Uh, and it's and it's intense, but it's not that bad. And of course, lower end of the scale, you don't really have that much back pain, do you? Anyway, so let's get started. If you can write that down that number, so if you are if your back pain is really intense, uh, then write down a ten. Now, what I want to do is tell you this is is that uh, this technique you're going to learn today works in about eighty five percent of the people the first time out. And uh, because we're doing an experiment here, I want to go after the actual emotions that are creating the back pain itself. Um, uh, I'm not sure what our success rate is going to be, but we can try it and you can post your comments out at our website. Um, if you're viewing it from here, then just post your comment below and, uh, and we'll take it from there. Uh, now, uh, one of the things that has always been told to me, the emotions for lower back pain are usually people that are stressed out around financial situations in their life or money issues of some sort in their life or the lack of money issues in their life. Uh, now, other than a physical condition, you know, you've been to the doctor, and he's given you a physical condition, uh, told you exactly what's wrong with you, you know, you've got degenerative discs or whatever, uh, then emotions can play a very strong part in this. So, so let's try this as an experiment, and then just I'll just ask you to post your results at, uh, at our webpage at giveuppain.com, if you could be so kind to do that. All right, so let's start, we're going to start right into this and get at this uh, because I don't want to take up too much of your time. So just start by tapping on the karate chop point of your hand and that's just this meaty section right in here and you're going to tap at a rate of, as if you were saying the words tap, 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 like that. So that's the rate you're going to be tapping at. And while we do that, we're, I just want you to say these words. Uh, even though I have all this stress around financial issues in my life. I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I have all this stress around money in my life, I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I have all this stress around the lack of money in my life, 
perhaps I can forgive myself for that. Okay, now we're going to move on to the second step of this, and it's called the sequence. And we're just going to start by tapping on the eyebrow point right here. So just begin tapping. And just say, all this stress around money. On the side of the eye, that's the bone right on the side of the eye here. And tap there. All this stress around money. Underneath the eye, right on the cheekbone here. Tap along. And just repeat. All this stress around money. Underneath the nose, right in between your lip and the bottom of your nose, right in that point. Just tap there. All this stress around money. On the chin, between your lip and your chin, just in there. All this stress around the lack of money in my life. On the collarbone, where it comes in to meet the breastplate here, uh, we're just going to tap on there. All this fear of not having enough money. Next point is underneath the arm, midline in the middle of the body, along the nipple line. So midline in the middle of the body. You might find, feel a little tender spot there, so just tap on there. And while you're tapping there, just say, all this stress around money. On top of the head, all this stress around money. Back to the eyebrow point. I have challenges with money on the side of the eye. I have all these challenges around my finances underneath the eye. All this stress around money underneath the nose. It just makes me sick sometimes, all the stress I have around money. I know that was a bit of a long one, wasn't it? On the chin. All my money problems on the collarbone. All my money problems. Underneath the arm. All my money problems. On top of the head. All these challenges around money. On the eyebrow point. All these challenges around the lack of money in my life. On the side of the eye. All these challenges around the lack of money in my life. Okay, very good. Now just take a deep breath in. Let it out. Now, I want you to check back in with your lower back pain again and just see if your levels have gone down. In. So you've rated your back pain and hopefully that your pain levels have gone down now. And, and if so, then great. I, I really love to hear your comments on this experiment because you'll notice we didn't even talk about back pain. But I'm, I'm curious to find out if you have these emotions in you and all of a sudden your back pain, you notice your back pain is going away, then perhaps there's some, chal there's some challenge there you need to work on. And it may, maybe we just have to be a little bit more detailed because I'm, t I'm talking generally to a general audience out here. Uh, but your specific uh, case that you have, your specific challenge around money, uh, may be something that, um, uh, that just needs to be dealt with on a more detailed basis. So you can use this technique to do that. If you wonder what the words are or the, some, of the, some of the phrasing you could use, uh, if you want to send me a few details, I really don't want to know a lot, uh, but send me a few details about your particular instance and um, what I will do is I'll, I'll write out a, a um, I'll, I'll email you back with, with a, um, uh, uh, a bunch of phrases that you can actually use with the EFT to help you out. So I hope you enjoyed today's exercise and uh, really looking forward to your comments. Once again, my name is Dan Brooks, uh, founder of GiveUpPain.com, and have a great day. Thank you.